Hey, Phaedra, out at group events. It's very surface. Yeah, I mean, speak. We're both cordial. But if we want to get that old friendship back, man, we need to talk. You and I ain't really been talking like how we used to. <laughs> and to be honest with you, purposely, on my end, I was pulling all the way back. Because obviously, I told you before, I did not like what was said. Um, some what of was said? Like, out of everybody in our group, you have been the most supportive. You have called I'm me. Trying. You have sent me texts mm -hmm. every single day. Out of everybody, I would have thought it would have been Candy, mm -hmm. you know, because I have been there for Candy. When you and I talk, you would make it seem like you was good. But then around other people, you put on a different face. That pissed me off. Because for the past few years, I feel like anytime we've gotten together, it's because I call you. I invite you to my house, do everything, all the stuff that we've done. It's because I invited you. You don't reach out to me like that. That irritated me. Well, let me tell you what, what really tripped me up. When a stranger came up to me in the grocery store and said, I want to buy some of Apollo's stuff that is sitting up in Candy's property. And I'm like, huh, what do you mean? Yeah, all his stuff You're is talking about his house. motorbikes. I was like, dang, has, has my husband made that much of an impact on them that they would try to hurt me by having this stuff up in here? and Hurt you? Yeah, it was hurt me because the government came to my house looking for the stuff, and I didn't know what the stuff was. So it put me in a position where I had to defend what did he do with all these assets that he had. I don't know what the government got to do with me. Girl, the feds is coming to you about way more than this little motorbike and four-wheeler, I am sure. First of all, at that time, you wanted him to get here about your house. But you never mentioned it. Really, Candy? I mean, everybody's girl code is different, but where they do that at? And that's what was most disturbing to me. Well, I guess the same way you've been saying the stuff to people that I felt like you should have mentioned to me. I guess it's a lack of communication on both parts then. But at the end of the day, the way y'all have made so many comments about my decisions, about whether I'm going to take my children to visit, okay, I think it's quite inappropriate. A lot of families bring their kids to that prison, and it's going to be a long time, eight years. So they're going to have to have some type of relationship. My husband's in Kentucky. Okay. It's very expensive for me to go there. One minute, everything, the money, there's not, not a problem. Money, I was sleeping in my dreams to make money. Now yeah. it's a lot of well, money. Well, I got two kids in private school. I paid my husband's legal bill. Uh, to be honest, I don't care. I'm just what telling else? you, sir, if you make the, oh, it's not about money. No, it is about money. When I'm taking money out of my kids' mouth to do something that their dad didn't want to do for them, because if he was really interested in seeing them, when he was hanging out in the clubs with your husband, he would have been at home being a dad, right? So I felt like Todd was attacking me as well. Todd's issue with you has nothing to do with Apollo. He's still holding grudges about a business situation that y'all had. And that makes it uncomfortable with me because y'all never finished resolving y'all business. I did pay your husband $25,000, $30,000. You still owe him eight. Five. Five. Whatever for a product it is. that's never coming out? That's on your end. You know, Candy, at the end of the day, I do consider you, or did consider you, a very close friend. I guess what I was so hurt by is that I just wanted you to reach out just a little bit. And so I want our relationship to be, I want it to be what it used to be, but I want you to know that if something like this ever happened again, I want you to reach out to me. I have lived in hell for quite a few years with Apollo, so I'm looking for my peace now. You were there from the delivery of both of my kids, not just the pregnancy, the delivery of both of them. So you have a place in my heart, unlike many people, because you know how proud I am. I wouldn't let anybody see my coochie <laughs> or anything else. That means something to me, but I was very hurt. I can't change what I felt. I'm not asking you to change what you felt, Pedro. I'm just saying that if you feel a certain kind of way about something, address me. Let me know. So whether it was a misunderstanding, maybe I didn't see signals I was supposed to be seeing, it wasn't intentional. 
I want this to be a positive time for you because you got to be happy for it. not only you but this baby. You can't be sad and crying with a baby. You know? <laughs> Your baby be a cry baby when you come out. Well, for real. You be crying. You make me damn emotional. <laughs> you can't good. be crying with the baby. The baby cry baby. You do that. Oh, I'm glad we had this conversation. So now and now, and I'm, I'm going to make it a point to talk to Todd because I don't want that impeding on our relationship. All right, well, let's hug it out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> These big old boobs. Girl, I'm so glad. I'll be so glad when they go down to normal size. And we can get to having fun. I'm happy that everything is out now. You know, it's good to hear what Candy's side of the story is. So hopefully we can move forward. I'm optimistic. Now, you sure it ain't nothing else you mad about? <laughs> right now, I just want to have some peace with Phaedra. And I'm just going to see how things go.